Good morning guys, what's going on? Happy New Year's, hope you're having a great day, great morning. So if you did not watch yesterday's video, go ahead and watch that. I made these shirts in yesterday's video. This one, this one. So go watch that. Super cute shirts, super cute shirts. So those are the ones I made yesterday. Um, today we have a few DTG shirts to make and uh, vinyl shirts to make so we're gonna try to make those today and of course we start our day with Duncan still going on Duncan doing a sponsorship I get a medium iced caramel well it's not even medium it's a large iced caramel latte with extra caramel so it's really good I get extra caramel because I like my stuff sweet so yeah Let's get the day started, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget, at the end of every video, I will be doing a post notification shout out. I'll be answering one question from the comments. You must be subscribed and hit that bell notification. Leave your comment down below with the question you have, along with the word done. That way, I know you have your notifications turned on. So I want to start by saying Happy New Year's, everyone. I hope you have a great new year. Make all those goals and let's reach all those goals this year. So in this video, we have so many, so many, so many, so many, so many Etsy orders to get done. So I'm just going to try to get them knocked out. <clears throat> um, in the last video, we, um, we did a few. I could show you some of them. They're not all tender touch because I didn't get that far or Keenan didn't get that far. Um, but here are the ones we made. There's just two right here. Some of them. I still need to put them in bags. So I'm still working on the, the cutting for, for these. It's hard to cut them, honestly. Um, but we worked on these in the last video. And today we got... A lot and by a lot I mean a lot more orders um if you stay tuned I am running $50 ads a day on Etsy as an experiment type situation just to see how it goes so stay tuned for that video will be coming here soon I haven't decided if I'm gonna end it today or just end it on Monday I started it Monday night so I might just do a whole seven days I don't know I mean $50 a day is a lot of money so uh, I just wanted to see how it goes um but yeah um 
I did turn my processing time down on Etsy. Um, and I am running a sale as well, just so you guys are aware um, of why I've been getting so many sales. I don't know why I look pink. Something's wrong with the camera, I'm sure, because like everything looks pink. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, go ahead and start working. Um, I have, these are my machines. This is a, uh, is that Brother? Yes, a Brother Entrepreneur Pro X 10 needle machine. Uh, Brother Endur, no. That's a baby lock. Baby lock endurance, um, six needle, that's endurance two. And then the entrepreneur six plus six needle brother. And then I have two Moco EMT 16 X's. I love all my machines. Oh yeah, I do have that one. That is the baby lock Alliance one needle machine. So all of these machines, including that one run at the same speed. They all, uh, they, they all have the same speed. The difference is the amount of needles that it has. These machines run so, so, so much faster, about twice as fast as those. Um, so that is why I use these machines for like my harder shirts, like unicorns that take like an hour normally. On these machines, there's about 30 minutes, 32, 33 minutes on these, um, depending on the speed whew, I put the machines on. So yeah, um, brother machines, you, you would get them from your local dealer. Prices, they literally fluctuate. So um, to give you an idea, um, six needles can start at like 75, but they go all the way to like 12. So it depends on the area you live in and your dealer. Um, that machine, um, can go anywhere from like 38 to like 7,000. Yeah, it's crazy. And these machines are, um, about 14,000, depending on what you get. It includes training, shipping, all that good stuff. So yeah, if you would like to purchase one of these machines, um, you can contact Todd Eggersman. His information is always in the description to my video. Mention me. I do make a commission off of these machines. Whew. Okay, so after I said all that, let's get to oh, shoot. Okay, someone said I should make a a compilation of how many times I get scared while working. You just you just make no noise. It just, just pop up. Okay guys, so I'm ready to start working. Um, clean up your table because people give me coffee. Always happens to be on the table or just dust gets on shirts and nothing worse than making a whole shirt than turning it over and realize uh, there's some dust on it or a stain because you didn't clean your table. So me, I need to. So some designs I already made <clears throat> from the last time. If you watched the last video, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and watch it after this one um i made some designs i didn't get to all the shirts so i'm just going to design um more shirts or really what i'm going to do so i'm just going to um start on those designs that i already have made so they can just start going in the background and i'll uh start making up some more designs i guess i've gotten so many sales not enough 50 dollars a day but i've gotten so many sales um in the past five days four days i started on monday i'm at 40 sales um but like a lot of them are two shirts <laughs> so it's quite a, a bit quite a bit quite a bit a lot of siblings um and because it's you know a lot of it's valentine's day i guess it's half and half but whatever so i am going to just start a shirt up keep moving um so yeah just you guys too go go start working Okay, so I know I need a good amount of this fabric um, because most of the shirts I'm making use this. So I'm just going to uh, heat and bond big pieces. This design, you need heat and bond because it doesn't have a satin stitch. It just has a, it's like the vintage stitch. So with designs like that, um, you want to make sure you have heat and bond so that there isn't fraying. And it's another form of safety when it comes to, you know, when they wash it and the stitching not coming out or the design not coming off because it has the heat and bond. And you use heat and bond light. Heat and bond like ultra will gunk up your needles. So I recommend heat and bond light. Um, you can get it from Amazon. I have a link of all my Amazon 
items in the description to the video if you are interested. Okay, so I've started a, a little bit. <laughs> so I have the name stitched out on this. They ordered this yesterday, but they needed it by the 15th. And you know what that means. You gotta ship it now. This one is the, another, the boys' Valentine shirt. And then I just set up one of the unicorns for the Melco. So I need to hoop the shirt. Put it on the Melco and keep it moving. Hey guys, so it's the next morning. Yesterday took a turn. Um, if you've been watching for a while, you know I had my mastitis when Roman was about eight months, I believe. And unfortunately, I got it again. It's ridiculous, it's painful. So yesterday, I went to urgent care, got my antibiotics, and I rested all day. I have a few orders that I need to ship today. It's Saturday. So I'm down here trying to just finish those few orders, um, and then I'm just gonna rest for the day. Um, feeling better now yesterday like it was m painful um and then you know you go to the doctor and then it really 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 hurts so just need to get um the ones that are needed by like january 15th out i would prefer to um my mom is gonna come and help watch the kids so that keenan can try to package some orders um and i just need to finish a few shirts this one did finish so it turned out pretty cute. Um, and this one, I just need to, you know, put the stuff on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and just start working right away. Um, you know, when you're, I don't want to say sick, but like I kind of am sick, mastitis, I guess. But um, you feel good for, for a while because I feel fine now. So I'd rather work while I feel fine.
This one I got done. This one. This one. And that was the other one from earlier. Uh, I did also make a shot on the DTG. Keenan's gonna tend to touch everything. But I need to go upstairs and rest. Um, and relax until my mother gets here. And I have to go for a follow up. Um, to make sure my white blood count whatever is, is going down so i will see you guys later or well, you probably see keenan later so i'm gonna say bye here and then you'll see uh keenan So for today's post notification shout out, it goes to Pamela Renee Design. She asks, how do you pair colors and fabrics in a design? So what I've learned is you pick um, two colors from your design and you can pick a light version and a darker version of that color and they usually blends well together. That is my best tip. I was curious of the same thing and I went to a fabric store and that is what they told me. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. All right, guys. Bye.